The glass column is quite useful because we can see the coloured pigments separate in the column. And because of this, it is a useful learning aid. However, you might have seen a typical HPLC column, and this is usually about 250 millimetres long and about 4.6 millimetres in internal diameter. The glass column is still used for separations in some labs, and these separations are carried out at low pressure. The stainless steel jacket is used for the HPLC column to withstand the high pressures associated with HPLC. These pressures can be higher than even 1000 bar. For the time being, we'll stick with the glass column as we introduce some important concepts in this chapter, as I think it will help to visualise the concepts more clearly. And of course, all these concepts are applicable to HPLC as well.